<sighs> you know what, bro? It really sucks seeing the news every single day. And there's always something on this COVID-19 pandemic that's really affecting the world right now. I caught myself doing this today. Are you trying to make excuses to allow the stay at home or lockdown order for you to not get off of your butt and take care of yourself? So not only is it a crappy day, because let's be honest, cloudy rainy days always get us down. I'm outside in the rain going for a walk taking care of myself, man. Despite the crappy weather, it's still going to make me feel better going for this walk. Not only the crappy weather, man, but this morning sucked. Because for those of you unaware, Windows, with their beautiful updates, are always affecting programs on your computer. So, with me being a content creator on YouTube, it really sucks when Windows releases one of those freaking updates that screws up your video editor. The main source, the main thing, the main app that you actually use for uploading videos on YouTube. Not only that, but YouTube also made the decision, a beautiful decision, to remove Creator Studio Classic for those unaware that don't have YouTube channels, Creator Studio Classic had everything. Yes, some of it was annoying to use, but it was there. So now with this new YouTube Studio, which I love, I like it more than Creator Studio Classic, there's still a lot of issues that it has. So when I upload a video now, it doesn't tell me whether it's HD or 4K. So I have to take a random guess when to actually publish the video and make it public for other people to watch. So I published the video on my gaming channel. Up oh, 360p, despite it was only for like a minute. But still, when you first publish a video, that's when the majority of your subscriber base is going to come and watch that video. So of course somebody seeing 360p that's used to seeing 4K on my channel, of course they're, at least if it was me, I would not want to watch that. I, I, like, I can't look at 360p. I have a hard time looking at 1080 at this point, man. But it's true. Excuses. And I'm sure you guys are all like beasting out your lives right now. But we all need those reminders that I always give you. Because you may catch yourself in the movement. Movement. I'm going to keep that in the video just because I pronounce crap long, wrong. I pronounce crap wrong all of the time. You just, you might end up catching yourself in the moment, man. Just take care of yourself. And you know what, man? There's actually a couple of apps that I personally use and are extremely useful for keeping your health and all of that sort of stuff up. By the way, that dude does have a cool truck. Um, I've, I've been even been thinking about doing like a review on these apps. They're, one is MyFitnessPal, and then the second one is Google Fit. But like, you don't really have to keep like pinpoint accurate track on the app MyFitnessPal, but it's it's very useful. Not necessarily for people that are trying to maintain their weight, but for people like me that are active and are trying to gain weight, it's very useful because, you know, when I'm going for these walks, everything, every, what did I just barely say? Every single, every single day or going for a run, which it's always the same thing. So I know the distance and it's like a 15 minute run or a 30 minute walk. It's very nice to have Google Fit and my fitness pal because if I go for that walk or run, obviously that is me being active. So you're gonna end up burning more calories, which means that you need to eat more. But, you know, let me know down in the comment section below 
what you guys think about that, like doing like a review of Google Fit and MyFitnessPal, it would be like one single video because they're kind of pointless to have if if you don't have one or the other. You need kind of need both of them in order to make use of them, you know what I mean? But anyways, MyFitnessPal basically, it allows you to keep track and they like, they have everything, bro. <laughs> and even if they don't have something, unless you're eating out, because actually, to be fair, man, eating out now even, most people have, like, the, the nutrition stuff. Um, so you can just add it into my fitness pal. But as far as I'm concerned, I have not tried anything or eaten anything that isn't on that application. And it's very simple to use. It also keeps track of your like, your fat and your carbs and your protein and all of that sort of stuff. I only care about the protein. Other than that, I just, I wanna make sure that I'm eating my body weight in protein, which I weigh about 160 pounds. So that's, that's like the bare minimum that I want to have every single day. Just because I'm trying to gain weight, bro. And I'm trying to gain weight in a healthy way. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to eat Cheetos every single day. You guys have seen my fridge. It's full of vegetables and cheese, man. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna end up saying, cheese, how is cheese good for you? Cheese is really good for you. Especially, th there's like some specific kinds that are loaded, loaded with protein, calcium, if you're watching your sodium, you're kind of screwed, but I don't need to watch my sodium. But cottage cheese, man, I love cottage cheese. And then there's Parmesan cheese. Like a whole cup, a whole cup of Parmesan cheese, according to my fitness pal, is 480 calories. And it contains like 50 grams of protein. That's like, that's crazy. Cottage cheese has more, I don't know the exact numbers, I could be a little off. Feel free to correct me down in the comment section. <laughs> but, like I have a lot of that because I don't like cooking. I, I mean I do, but let's be honest, none of us really. <laughs> Unless you like do. Unless you do, man. It's, you could be one of those people that just like likes to cook their meals. But like for me, I have, <sighs> YouTube takes up a lot of my time. This video is pretty crap and all, it, like to be in all fairness, I'm just like walking, talking to you guys. None of my videos are like this, but you know, it's just, it's very simple. You, you throw your freaking, I have, they're called Kaflon, nonstick Kaflon pans insane absolutely insane dude you freaking cook eggs with like nothing nothing and they won't stick like you don't need any oil or butter or anything so yeah obviously you're gonna put butter on your vegetables anyway but when I'm cooking with cheese why do I want to put butter and cheese when you're health conscious you know what I mean? I imagine there's some people out there that'll throw some butter and cheese. <laughs> Plus a little bacon. But, you know, for me, they're, they're extremely useful, man, because you don't need any of that. You can just throw it in the oven, wait 20 or 25 minutes, and it'll, it'll like, be done. Um, but yeah, it's C-A-P-H-A-L-O-N, I think, is what the name of those are. So regardless, the whole eating healthy thing, like vegetables and cheese, don't get me wrong, like I like to treat myself. And with this like COVID-19 crap and coronavirus, I ended up bringing this up in one of my other videos. It's, it's mind boggling that when this all, now it's it's starting to go back to normal. Mind you, there's there's still a few things that are just consistently being wiped off of the shelf. But when all of this first started, the things that I like to treat myself with, like sweetened cereal, 
Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Reese's Puffs. I tried the uh, the Pop Tart cereal. That's freaking good too. I haven't tried every flavor, but anyways, like that's what I would like to treat myself with. But all of that was gone off of the shelves. Ice cream gone. Like basically all the junk food, and we all know what junk food is. And before anybody says it, anybody says it, that is not true that only junk stays good. Yes, of course vegetables don't stay good for a long time, but you can buy frozen vegetables, brother. You know what I mean? So, you know, when all of that is gone, but the normal stuff that I have every single day Parmesan cheese stays good forever. Cheese in general, in general, I told you guys I pronounce shit wrong all the time. Like that stays good for a long time. It's, it gets even better the longer you have it. Not, obviously not like the man-made stuff, like freaking Velveeta, which I do have. It's, Cause let's be honest, that is the best cheese, even though it's not real cheese. But anyways, it's still like, it's somewhat healthy. Like you don't have to like have freaking nothing but vegetables nothing but fruit you know some people do do that but you know that's not how i am i have what i want it's just you know what i mean it's like having stuff that's good for you, you guys know what i'm talking about and even though this channel is all about motivation keeping your confidence high health fitness cars family having fun and all of that sort of stuff I don't want any of you, you can tell just by looking at me, to try achieving one of the unrealistic body types that you see on Instagram or any other social media because that's not an average person. If that is your job, if your job, if like if you're a fitness YouTuber or you're a gym coach, yeah of course because you're going to be doing that every single day. But your average person taking care of themselves is just like I am. You go for a walk, you go for a run, you do some push-ups, you do chin-ups. I do 75 chin-ups every single day and I do 100 push-ups every single day. And I also go for about, I want to say it's about a three mile walk every day. And that's what an average person does. So I don't want any of you to think that you know that you need to have a body like that for people to actually like you or for women to like you because in all honesty once you get that body you'll have it for a little while and you're probably just gonna go back to your average person's body type unless it's your job you know what I mean if you're playing basketball if you're playing football if you're playing sports for a living then okay you know what bro actually something else that i've been making an excuse of a lot lately is not really having any ideas for videos for you guys because everything is closed due to this like covid 19 pandemic so it's like it all adds up you need to get out and take care of yourself in order to feel better about yourself but when it's a crappy day like this when you wake up first thing in the morning, hear nothing but depressing news on news, it's just like, it gets you down, man. You know, it makes you not want to do anything. But it's just like that. I'm an idiot because I have not been in school for a long time, so bear with me while I try to, photosynthesis is what it's called. It's like that the effect where it rains, it goes into the water, it evaporates, it goes back up in the clouds, it comes down, it feeds the plants. It's like, it's that cycle. That's very similar to life, man. If you're not taking care of yourself, you're you're gonna feel like shit, basically. You know what I mean? Um, and I do apologize that this video is extremely half-assed, me just going for a walk talking to you guys, but it's something that I wanted to go over because I caught myself doing it. So even though I'm always pushing myself to make my life what I want it to be, you know, there's always those times that I need those reminders. And hopefully this video is a reminder to one of you 
that's just sitting on your butt playing video games because you don't feel like going out and doing anything. Because maybe, like the other day's video, your goals are never getting accomplished. Shorten that other video up that we made the other day. You have to make goals that you can complete in order to get where you really want. So in other words, you need to make them realistic because if you make that, if you set your goals too high, you're just setting yourself up for failure because you're never gonna accomplish them. And then you're just, you're not gonna wanna make goals anymore, period. And then you'll never get where you want because you just feel unmotivated since those goals that you had uh, intent, like set way too high are just never getting accomplished. So make them realistic. Man, walking by the hospital got me thinking, I don't want any of you to think that I am not being safe. You need to be safe during this COVID-19 thing. I am just living my life the way it is, but I'm staying away from people. And when I go into the store, I wear something that I made for a mask. I have, I cut like the bottom of my t-shirt off and so it's two layers of a very thick like shirt heavy duty shirt for those of you that like wear um carhartt i think it's called it's similar to that it's not a carhartt shirt but anyways i cut the bottom of it off and i put two holes on top and two holes on the bottom i cut a rubber band and i tied it so i wear that into the store every single time i go in there and i also wear rubber gloves which i know some of you are probably having an issue finding those that if you even thought about it but amazon has them in stock yes they're not going to get there immediately but if you have prime they're going to get there within a couple of days and the reason that i use that t-shirt over my face with the rubber bands is because unlike a normal mask, you can actually wash it when you get home. Like you're only gonna have it on when you're going out in public. So it's not like you have to wash it in the laundry and wait to your electric bill all the time like that. You can just use some soap and clean it under the, under the sink. You know what I mean? Or if you wanna just wash it when you're in the shower. You know what I mean? Just that's why I did that and I don't have like a normal mask. So you all need to be extremely safe with what's going on right now. And I don't want any of you to think that I'm not being safe because I am always out and about doing things and I'm just continuing to live my life without it affecting me. But you do need to be safe. Like you can't you know what I mean? You can't be like going and chilling in the store for four hours every single day, going to the mall. That is if the malls are even open where you live. I I don't have any malls near me, so I'm not 100% sure with w about that. But anyways, dude, you know, we're almost back home. I apologize for the video not really being like my normal content. I just, you know, I had some stuff on my mind and I caught myself in the moment. So I just felt like, you know, making this video because maybe I'll help one of you out by doing it. Because if it's, it happened to me, that means it's, it's happening to other people. But yeah, man, we're almost back. So if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Throw a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, man. I'll try to upload at least two videos a week for you guys. This video is a little bit half-assed because I didn't really do my normal stuff. That's actually an idea I have for a video and it would be a perfect time for it too since there's not many other ideas that I can come up with of like my process of me making the videos here because what you guys see in 10 minutes probably takes me like five or six hours just in recording. That's not the editing, you know what I mean? <laughs> So I thought it would be kind of a kind of a cool, obviously I would edit it down so you wouldn't have to watch like six hours of me driving back and forth and walking back and forth and doing all of that crap. But I, I don't know, man. Let me know in the comment section. Again, like I always say, 
I'll keep talking and talking and talking if I don't shut up. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll get you guys in the next one. Peace.